Two, vocabulary, jobs. Look at the groups first below. Can you add any more to each group? First group, emergency services. Emergency services is like when you call the police to get some help, or if somebody is hurt and he needs medical attention, he needs an ambulance to take him to the hospital. And we have media, media like TV, radio, newspapers, and magazines. All these are different types of media. Construction, construction, the building of something, having something built. Under emergency services, we have this man, he is a paramedic paramedic he is someone who has been trained to help people who are hurt or to do medical work but who is not a doctor or a nurse and we have lifeguard lifeguard someone whose job at a beach or swimming pool is to help swimmers who are in danger Rescue squad. Rescue squad. Squad means a small group of people working together as a unit to help save people in danger. This man needs rescuing. He is in danger. Let's add two more. I have added firefighter. One word. Firefighter. He is someone whose job is to stop fires burning. And a male nurse. Nurse. Someone whose job is to look after people who are ill or injured, usually in a hospital. Next, under media, we have journalist. Journalist is someone who writes news reports for newspapers magazines, television, or radio. And this man is a news reader. In American English, we call him news anchor, news anchor. British English, news reader. He is someone who reads the news on television or radio. Cameraman, cameraman. He is someone who operates a camera for films or television. Let's add two more. I've added my favorite, graphic designer. He is someone whose job is combining pictures and words using a computer. And weatherman, weather. He tells you the weather. A man or a woman on television or radio who tells you what the weather will be like. Under construction, we have a builder. Builder is a person that builds or repairs buildings. And we have a painter. Painter is someone whose job is painting houses or other buildings. And we have a plumber. B is silent. Don't say plumber. No, plumber. Plumber. He is someone whose job is to repair water pipes, baths, toilets, etc. Let's add electrician. This sounds like shen, shen, electrician. He is someone whose job is to connect or repair electrical wires or equipment. 3. Grammar. Past perfect simple. What is past perfect simple? Look. This is my niece, Lubna. She rode a horse. Rode is the past of ride. When you sit on an animal, that means you are riding it. Then, she fell asleep last night. Fell asleep means slept. The past of sleep. This and this 
happened last night in the past. Two things, two actions. This is the timeline. We are here. This is now the present. This is the future. And this is the past. This happened in the past, right? She rode a horse. When did this happen? Also in the past. Did it happen before she rode a horse or after? It happened after. Now, it is correct to say that she rode a horse, then she fell asleep last night. It is correct. But we don't want to use then. We want to use past perfect simple. We say, She had ridden a horse before she fell asleep last night. This is past perfect simple. And this is past simple. Past perfect simple. You use had and the past participle form of the verb. If you don't know what the past participle is, you go to page 77, you search for the verb ride. It's right here, ride. This is the base form, this is the past simple, and this is the past participle. Look at ride. Ride is the present, the base form, the past participle. This is what we want. Plus had. Now we give this to the action that happened first. She had ridden the horse first, right? We can also say she fell asleep last night after she had ridden a horse. Not because we wrote this after we wrote this, that means we give it past simple. No. It's true, we put it last, not first, but in the timeline. This is the timeline. Did it happen first or last? It happened first. So we still give it past perfect simple. Do you understand that? It happened first here. She had ridden a horse. So if we put it here, we put it here. We still give it past perfect simple. Okay? Now, this sentence is affirmative. It's very easy to make it negative and a question. We say she hadn't ridden, she hadn't, she had not. To make it a question, had she ridden a horse before she fell asleep last night? To answer, easy. Yes, she had, no, she hadn't. The words blinking in green are time expressions. These are the time expressions we can use with past perfect simple, already, ever, never, just, by, by means I'm giving you a deadline. If I tell you that you must show me the homework by Sunday, that means on Sunday or before. We can use before and after, just like here, before and after. We can use when and by the time. By the time means, okay, before this thing happened, before this time. With past simple, we can use last night, last year, last week, today, yesterday, two days ago, etc. Now, we are ready for practice. Complete with the past simple or the past perfect simple of the verbs in brackets. Hey, William, you take the car to the garage today? We have only one action, it happened before nothing we know, so no need for past perfect here, use past simple. This is a question, we ask, did you take, did you take, if you forgot how to use past simple, you will find a video on my YouTube channel that will explain how to use it. Yeah, but listen to this, when I... Get there, they close for lunch. I did two things. I went to the garage, but it was closed. Which one happened first? Did they close the garage first, or I went there? First, they closed. Because when I got there, they had closed already. So when I got, 
There they had closed for lunch. So I park outside. Park means stop the car in a particular place for a period of time. And go for a walk. Notice that we are using and. When you use and or then, you don't need past perfect. You can say, she rode a horse and she fell asleep last night. That would be correct. If you say, she rode a horse and she fell asleep last night. She rode a horse, then she fell asleep last night. So if you use and, then or after that, you don't use past perfect. I parked outside and went for a walk then I remembered something we are using then I remembered something what did I remember I remembered that I left my wallet wallet is where you keep your money and cards okay when did I leave the wallet did I remember first or did I leave my wallet first well actually I left my wallet before I went for a walk and before I remembered. I parked the car and then I forgot my wallet inside the car. This is why past perfect here. I had left my wallet and then I went for a walk and then I remembered that I had I ran back. This happened after I remembered. This happened in the end. I ran back to the garage, but the car was not there. It was gone. What? I was shocked. I was surprised and upset. But then I realized I knew what happened. Okay, which one happened first? The car was taken first. It had happened first, and then I realized it. I knew it in the end. So the car was taken. That happened first, and then I realized it. The mechanic. Mechanic is someone who fixes cars. The mechanic took the car or had taken the car inside to fix it. What do you think? When did it happen? Did it happen last or it happened first? It happened first. Well, it happened before. I ran back and before I realized what taken it to fix it without asking he should have asked you well he saw the keys in the car this is what he did he saw the key okay to take it 